There was a yard sale about 10 minutes from my house on Saturday morning. I decided to go. Did I get anything this time? Plus a little bit more up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Really appreciate it. Um, also, follow me on other social medias. I'm on Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics, whatnot, Bronzeville underscore comics. I do sales pretty much every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. I've already got planned my Bronze Age Horror Night on the um, whatnot stream. That's going to be Monday, October 30th. And uh, you can find a link in the description of this video that if you're not yet signed on with whatnot, you get $5 off your first purchase. Or is it 10 I always get that confused. Anyway, you'll get some money off your first purchase. Check it out. And um, it doesn't have to be with me. Also in the description is a link to my eBay store and my email if you want to reach out to me. So after some disappointing results in yard sale hunting a week ago, um, I was back at it. And I, I wanted to stay kind of close to home. So... There was actually the only one I, I saw that it was at all promising. Uh, it was about 10 minutes from my house. And based on the the advertisement, I probably wouldn't have traveled very far. Uh, maybe 30 minutes max for this particular. And it wasn't a great um, batch, but I got some decent comic books. And I got there uh, just about an hour early, maybe an hour and two minutes or something like that. Um and there's already somebody there. And it's somebody I knew. It was a guy that, a local guy that I've dealt with a number of times and buying collections from him. Um, so we were just kind of hanging out and chatting for the hour about comic books and baseball cards and life in general because we're about the same age, um, similar professions. And uh, we were able to, you know, just, just chat as the folks were setting up. As there, was, there were like two tables sitting there in the driveway and nobody was there. Then they started to bring out some tchotchkes and put like a tarp down and <laughs> fella comes out and lays out some books and like some trade paperbacks meh, on the tarp. I'm like, is that all we're going to get? So um, we asked and they said, no, I got comics coming out. And he brought out like just stacks of comics. And um, the the guy that uh, I was just kind of hanging out with, he was there first he said, ah, if there's anything, we can, you know, figure it out, split it up. But he wasn't really interested in anything because he was looking for a little bit older stuff. He's more a silver bronze collector. And this was all 80s stuff. Um, so not nothing in boxes, just like stacks. They were all bagged, though. So the books are in like in the eight to nine range for the most part. Um, they all have a couple flaws, maybe some pressable defects. So I picked up um, they were doing uh was it three for ten five dollars each three for ten so figure about three dollars a book three dollars and thirty three cents i picked up a batch of transformers number six which is the first josie beller um number seven there was a five there but its condition didn't look too good and the, you know there was no one um and there was no what is the other big key eight or nine uh eleven which is the first jet fire that's a minor key uh, and number thirteen then they had a run of kind of post-burn X-Men, all from the same range. 170, 172, uh, first Mariko. It's a newsstand, another newsstand. 173, this great cover, Origin of Silver Samurai. Uh, 174. These are all pretty decent. Uh, 175, The Marriage of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor. I'm trying to get this in focus. What's going on here? There we go. Come on. There we go. You've seen these books before. I mean, these are not rare books by any means. 180, 181, and a book that like kind of got hot a while ago when they announced the new X-Men animated series, um, X-Men 200, where um, it was a trial of Magneto. I call it the Suns Out, Guns Out issue because uh, he has this new ridiculous costume. Um, the... This is the second mini series of Vision Scarlet, which didn't have the Billy and Tommy issues. Um, this one, Marvel Team Up 150, Spider Man X Men. This is the last issue of the run. And I really generally like Paul Smith's artwork, but man, does Rogue look like a grandma there or what? 
I mean, she looks like, you know, yeah, she looks like she's about 75 years old. Like somebody has just sapped all her energy. Um, Secret Wars 2, number three, The First Beyonder. West Coast Avengers, limited series number one. Um, and then the, probably the two best books were uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number 21, The Marriage of Peter Parker and Mary Jane. This is the new stand edition, which uh, has the heroes and villains on the cover. The direct edition has the um, the uh, people in Spider-Man's personal life or in Peter's personal life, Aunt May and J. Jonah Jameson and Ronnie Robertson, etc. cetera. Um, and then final book and i always enjoy picking this book up this is a great book uh marvel dc present the uncanny x-men and the new teen titans that's just a great read so that's all i got from there some some you know decent books um they had a bunch of power pack and stuff but nothing else that i i really felt was worth it so i decided to take a trek to Streetside anthony's and you know i go there i'll pick up some books but in, in large measure it's just kind of like the hanging out the community aspect and just talking um you know, it's uh, I, I always compare it to like going, you know, the old school going to the barber shop where that would be kind of like um, in certain instances where men would go to socialize um, and uh, find find common ground. Uh, I think the same thing is true here. Right. You know, we're talking about baseball and talking about, you know, obviously comic books and other stuff in life. And um, so I picked up just a handful of books. Um this X-Men number one, the Magneto cover. Um, this one, there were two variants of this particular issue. This is the start of the Hush storyline. Uh, there's one with Batman's um, allies on it. And then this cover, this is a gatefold. It folds out with his enemies. That's a pretty cool cover. Uh, Spider-Verse number one. First appearance of Spider-Zero. Metamorpho number 15. This one uh, is definitely a PC buy. So these are all... I also always talk about cell slab spec save. Um, maybe the Spider Zero is a spec. Uh, all of those in that other pile are cell... None of them are quite high enough grade to get uh, graded. Different story here. So this Wonder Woman 210. This is from 1973. It's got this tear up here. Other than that, it's a really in really nice shape. You know, for, for a 50-year-old book. So that's going in the PC that over here then i got a whole bunch not all of these are are going to be slabbed or at least um in a pre-screen but there are let's count the number of books that i may be sending out to cgc because i think they're they're really minty superman 75 fourth printing tell that by the iv there uh under the prices next to the january 93 it's a new stand that's the um hardest to find of all the um versions of that book at least the ones that were originally printed. Um, so that's one. We live number one. This is kind of a, a slab and spec because there is the, the the property has been optioned, but uh, aftershock is going through some reorganization, so their properties are kind of on hold. But um, I do believe that may turn around. Um, Contest of Champions number one. This is a sharp copy, but this is a sharper copy. I have copies of two and three floating around. I'm going to put one with it to complete the set to sell. And this, I think, is actually a contender. That's a, It was a gorgeous copy. Um, this is a second print, but it's, I, I think, a 9-8 all day. Howard the Duck, number one, first full appearance of Gwenpool. And I just dropped a video yesterday. Uh, occasionally, I'll do um, some shorts on the comic I just read. Uh and just kind of go through comics from all different eras. Just kind of fun little thing. So that's... How many do we have in my slab pile? Four. Really minty. A uh, newsstand copy of Batman 475. The first appearance of Renee Montoya. Who becomes the question. This is a spec book. Um, it's a variant of War of the Realms. New Agents of Atlas. I think there are just a lot of copies out there. A lot of people have been submitting it. One of those books that's from... The last few years, so a lot of high-grade copies have gone into um, the CGC uh, process. This is another high-grade, and it's also kind of a slab spec if Bishop ever appears. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 282, the first appearance of Bishop. 
Um, or first cameo appearance and first cover appearance. It's kind of one of those weird things where his first full appearance is in 283. This is the cameo, but this uh, is the higher value book. Another one that's really sharp uh, for its age um, is Avengers 221. This is uh, when She-Hulk joins the team. And I think people just like that cover with all the characters. And then this is a book that's made hot list because um, it's the first appearance of Cassandra Nova in New X-Men number 114. Um, speculation that she may be in the Deadpool movie. So I picked up three copies. The two best are going to go in my slab pile. Um, then this one, I, I looked at it. The front cover is beautiful. Uh, it's a pretty good book in a 9.8, but even direct. But the back cover has a couple of um, defects on it. But still, nice book to get in a newsstand. First appearance of Lockheed in Uncanny X-Men 166. You all know the next book. This is Sharp. This is going to be submitted. Um, Spider-Man 2099, number one. 9.8 contender. Another 9.8 contender. This is the last book. Um Batman 657, the first cover appearance of Damian Wayne. And I think it's the first meeting between Damian and Tim Drake. Um, so that's the batch. It's a real quick video. That's what I picked up today um, on my, my travels. And um, kind of the... It's kind of like what I do when I'm going to shows now. Either I find, if I can find something for the PC, great. But I'm looking for gradable books. Um two four six eight ten eleven books and that's going to take me time to clean and press um when i get to them because i tend to be a little fastidious if i, I find something that can be improved i might put it through the press uh, a couple of times but um yeah it's just uh, kind of probably pick those books up the the average price i paid for those books is uh well under twenty dollars all right, a couple are more expensive, a couple less. But if some of them come back at nine eights, boom. Like if you have, if I have, there's 10 books there, right? Did I say 10? This is my thinking. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, right? So I probably, you know, if, if, if I'm paying just under $20 a book, let's say that's $200 for that stack. If two of those books come back at a nine eight, I'm good based on the quality of those books. And if the right book comes back, I'm good, you know, so if I get half of them back, right, at, let's say, you know, six books at $150 average, it's $900 worth of, of slabs there. Obviously, there is the, the grading cost, but the grading cost for 11 books is is about $300. So you're talking about 200 base, another 300, maybe 900 or more. It's still a, a good double up if, um, if I can do that. So we will eventually hopefully see a lot of these in a CGC unboxing. Uh, so that's kind of the way I've been thinking. So a real quick video here just to show off some books that I got out. It was a beautiful day out. Um, so in the meantime, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.